Laudetu Jesus Christus, praise be Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is truly risen and death has no more power over him. Welcome to the live broadcast of the celebration of the liturgy of Easter Sunday morning presided over by His Holiness Pope Francis here in St. Peter's Square. On behalf of Vatican News, I would like to welcome all of you who are joining us for this liturgy from around the world, wherever you are, whatever time zone, morning, afternoon, evening, a warm welcome to you all. To those of you joining us through the various Vatican News channel, the Vatican News, Vatican Radio app, which you will find on Play Store, Vatican News English website, YouTube channel, our Facebook live feed, as well as those of you tuned in through our official partner radio and television stations of EWTN, Catholic Faith Network in America, Catholic TV, Salt and Light TV, UCT, Uganda Catholic Television, Shalom World Television Network, USA, Shalom TV India, and Sunday Shalom, at Madashan TV and listeners of uh, Sirius XM Radio New York, Luminous Radio India, Radio Maria Papua New Guinea. Our short wave listeners, welcome. Welcome to our listeners and viewers of local and national Catholic radio and television stations picking up this transmission. I'm for the Paul Summer Sumo, and it is indeed my privilege to provide you with today's texts and translations for you. Those of our viewers just joining us, uh, this is the Easter Sunday Mass celebrated by Pope Francis here in St. Peter's Square. So, yesterday we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. It has been a busy week for the Holy Father here in the Vatican, Pope Francis, and those around involved with the various pontifical celebrations of the Holy Week. But in all these celebrations, if you have followed some on television uh, or radio, they've been indeed very solemn and very prayerful. For those of you uh, following the Holy Mass with your Sunday Missal, you will find the text under the Easter Sunday uh, Mass during the day. Today's liturgy will be celebrated in Latin, in the Latin language. Uh, the Gospel will be proclaimed both in Latin and also in the original Greek. What you can see today is a beautiful uh, decorated uh, sagrato. That's where the Holy Father will celebrate uh, the Mass. Uh, the Holy Father has already taken up his place and very soon we should have the procession to begin the celebration of the Easter Sunday liturgy for today. After the Easter Sunday Mass at midday here in Rome, Pope Francis will go to the um, what is called the Central Loggia, that is uh, the upper room there, facing the courtyard, the square, Peter's Square, St. Peter's Square, in the Basilica. And there he will deliver his Easter message and impart the Ubi et Orbi blessing. Ubi et Orbi being Latin literally means to the city and in this case the city of Rome and to the world. It is a special Easter blessing. There we have now the procession.
So in the procession that is uh, now just finishing, we have uh, cardinals, archbishops, bishops, and various liturgical assistants, masters of ceremonies, candle bearers, deacons, and many other assistants, about 70 in all. There are 34 cardinals, 18 bishops, and over 300 priests all concelebrating uh, this mass. The water savers are from the International Ecclesiastical College, Sedes Sapiensian. As the name suggests, it is an international uh, seminary here in Rome. So we are seeing here pictures of the holy fa the icon that is the image of the Holy Savior. It is one of the church's most ancient and venerated icons. This particular item on display is a replica which was made with your attention to the medieval prototype. The new icon looks like the, the old one and consists of a painted image, as you can see there on your screens, of the Savior seated on a throne with two, a throne with two door panels. It has just been incense. The painting of the central wooden part refers to the idea of the shepherd resurrected from the dead. It is always on display uh, during the during the Easter Sunday Mass. And the deacon there has just been intoning, the Lord has risen from the tomb when the, the Lord has risen from the tomb who for us hung upon a tree and the assembly responding Alleluia. And then the deacon also said, it is true the Lord has ridden and he has appeared to Simon. Once again, the, the, crowd, the assembly responds, Alleluia. And now incensing the icon. That is the icon of the Holy Savior. The original is kept in the chapel of the Scala Santa here in Rome. And the, the icon actually belongs to a body of Christian icons which are said to have come into existence miraculously, not made by the hand. By the 8th century, the Holy Savior icon was already a subject of great veneration by Christians. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pax Vobis. Fratelli e sorelle. Brothers and sisters, the Lord's resurrection proclaimed at the Easter vigil brings us the joy of new life. Transfigured by the light of the risen Lord and in communion with all Christ's disciples through the sign of water, let us remember our baptism that we may participate in the Eucharistic feast with newness of life. The Holy Father inviting the faithful in a penitential act by way of asperges, that is the rite of sprinkling a congregation with holy water. And the choir sing there, I saw the water flowing from the temple, from the right hand side, Alleluia, and all whom this water came, and to all whom this water came were saved and shall say, Alleluia, Alleluia.
Almighty God, cleanse us of our sins and through the celebration of this Eucharist, make us worthy to share at the table of his kingdom. As the Holy Father concluding the Asperger's right, that is the sprinkling of water. And now, the Gloria. Deus que odierna die per unigenitum tuum eternitatis nobis aditum de vita morte reserasti. Da nobis quesumus uque resurrectionum. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternal to eternity, grant we pray that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renew may through the renewed renewal brought by your spirit rise up to the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you from the acts in of unity the apostles. forever and ever. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth and how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. 
And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. Now I and those with me can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself, and also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet three days afterwards, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead. And he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and to tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone, alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness, that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. Verbum Domini. So we just listened to the first reading from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. And now we have the responsorial psalm, which will be led by the Sistine Chapel. This is the day made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. And in tears, the Lord is risen. Il giorno che ha fatto il Signore, rallegriamoci ed esultiamo. Grazie al Signore perché è buono, il suo amore è per sempre. Dica Israele, il suo amore è per sempre. destra del Signore si è innalzata, la destra del Signore ha fatto prodezze, non morirò ma resterò in vita e annuncerò le opere del Signore. pietra scartata dai costruttori è divenuta la pietra d'angolo questo è stato fatto dal Signore una meraviglia ai nostri occhi
the responsorial psalm. This is the day made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. And now the second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians chapter 3. Lettre de Saint Paul apôtre aux Colossiens. Frères, si vous êtes ressuscité, since you have been brought back to the, since you have been brought back to the true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heaven, not on the things that are on the earth, because you have died, and now. The life you have is hidden with Christ in God. But where Christ is, where Christ is revealed, he is with your life. And you too will be revealed in all your glory with him. The word of the Lord. So now we have the what is known as the Easter sequence. It is a beautiful and ancient poem telling a short narrative story of what happened on the resurrection morning. It is often chanted in Gregorian melody. At one time, there were many sequences in the church on solemn liturgies. Today, we only have a few. So this is the sequence now. prepare to listen to the gospel as the choir intones the Alleluia acclamation, the gospel acclamation. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us keep the feast of the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Alleluia. And viewers who, are just who have just joined us through the Mondo Vision telecast, my name is Father Paul Samasumo. Welcome to the live broadcast of the Easter Sunday Mass presided over by the Holy Father Pope Francis here in the Vatican St. Peter's Square. In all, we have more or less about 150 international broadcasters all linked up to the Easter celebration of the Lord's resurrection here in the Vatican. A very special day it is indeed. gospel today will be proclaimed in both Latin and in the original Greek, uh, the language in which it was originally written.
Dominus Fobiscum. Lectio Sancti Evangelii Secundum. The Holy Gospel according to John. And we are reading from John chapter 20. The deacon there incensing the book of the Gospels before reading the text. It was very early on the first day of the week and still dark when Mary of Magdalene came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciples, the one the, the Lord loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter set out with the other disciples to go to the tomb. They ran together, but the other disciple, running faster than Peter, reached the tomb first. He bent toward and saw the linen cloth lying on the ground but did not go in. Simon Peter, who was following now, came, went into the tomb, saw the linen clothes on the ground, and also the cloth that had been over his head. This was not with the linen clothes, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in. He saw and he believed. Till this moment, they had failed to understand the teaching of the scripture that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. And now the same reading will be taken in Greek, the original language in which the Gospel we have just read was written. First, there is the liturgical dialogue between the deacon and the Holy Father. Wisdom, standing, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Praise to you, Lord. Praise to you. Roscomen. Let us listen. Τον Σαββάτον Μαρία η Μαγδαλινή έρχεται προϊσκοτίας ετιούζης εις το μνημείον και βλέπει τον λίδον ηρμένον εκ του μνημείου τρέχειουν και έρχεται προς Σίμωνα Πέτρον και προς τον άλλον μαθητήν ο νεφίλιο Ιησούς και λέει αυτής Ήραν τον Κύριον εκ του μνημείου και οκείδαμεν που έδικαν αυτόν. Εξήλθεν ο Πέτρος και ο άλλος μαθητής και ήρκοντο εις το μνημείον, έτρεχον δε οι δύο μου 
Kjela los matitis pro edramen, taxion tu Petru, ke ilcem protos, istomni mion. Ke para kipsas vlepi kimena, ta donia, umentis ilcen, erki te un, ke Simon Petros akoluzon avto, ke isilcen istomni mion. Και θεωρείται δόνια κείμενα και το σουδάριον ο είναι πίτης κεφαλής αυτού που μετά των αδονίων κείμενων αλλά χωρίς εντετελειγμένων εις ένα τόπο. Τότε ούνης ήλθεν και ο άλλος μαθητής ο έλθον πρώτος εις το μνημείον και είδεν και πίστευσεν. Ουδέ πογάρι δίσαν την γραφήν, ότι δι' αυτόν εκ νεκρών αναστήνε. Assembly then, acclaiming the gospel praise to you, O Lord, praise to you. taking the book of the Gospels to the Holy Father. The Holy Father will kiss the book of the Gospels and bless us with it. So we listen to the Latin version and the Greek version. And before the reading in Greek as happens in the Eastern liturgies, there is a dialogue between the Holy Father or and the reader, the deacon, uh, together with the assembly acknowledging the word that is to be read to them, the gospel that is to be read. Ordinarily on Easter Sunday, the Holy Father doesn't give a homily. Uh, he will give the Easter message during the OB at, at o, uh, rather the, the, uh, the, the Easter message, pardon me, the Easter message during the Orbi et Orbi blessing uh, that takes place at noon after this Eucharist. So this time the Holy Father uh, is inviting us to some quiet um, meditation to think about the messages that we have been reflecting on during these last days of Good Friday, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday and today Easter Sunday. Last night during the Vigil Mass, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, reflected on the women who were on their way to the tomb. And they were wondering about who would lift the stone for them. In his reflection, Pope Francis said, there are times when we also feel a great stone blocking the door. But that only Jesus can move this stone. The creed.
fratelli e sorelle. In questo giorno ha fatto nuovo. Dear brothers and sisters, on this day made new by the Lord's resurrection, let us pray to the Father that reborn by water and the Spirit, we may bring the light of the risen Christ to the world. We are now the part of the prayers of the faithful, sometimes known as the bidding prayers. And our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the Holy Church. In Arabic, Father of the risen Lord, you redeemed us by the death and resurrection of your Son, Make the church a witness of hope and grant that by the grace of your spirit she may comfort those experiencing discomfort, discouragement and adversity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we pray for the newly baptized in Spanish. Father of light, in baptism you made us your sons and daughters. Guide the newly baptized in obedience to your will and grant that, welcomed by the community, they may grow in hearing your word, in steadfast prayer and in works of charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the gift of peace. In Tamil, Father of the Redeemer in Christ, you have reconciled us to yourself. Make us heralds of peace. Grant that all families may, be, may live in peace and harmony, and all conflict and injustice in our world may come to an end. And now we pray for persecuted Christians. In Portuguese, Father of the Savior, in your Son you have conquered evil and death. Strengthen all Christians who experience hate, dread, and persecution. Grant that they may be sustained in faith and perseverance and inspired to pursue the paths of dialogue and reconciliation. And now we pray for all families. In Chinese, Father of the Messiah in your Son, you have made your family guide parents in their efforts to entrust, the Christ, to entrust Christian education to their children. Grant that the children and young people may be docile and open in faith and that even home even, and that every home may be filled with the good fragrance of Christ. Father, by the resurrection of Christ, our past, you have cast from us the old leaven and made us new creation. Grant that we may celebrate our baptism with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth through Christ, who is our Lord. So we just concluded now the prayers of the faithful taken in various uh, languages there, praying for the church, for families, for the newly baptized, for peace. And already you can see the, from your screens, families are uh, taking the offertory to the Holy Father.
we prepare to enter into this moment of the Eucharist, the offertory, and with the bread and wine that are being presented, we too present ourselves before God's altar that we may be transformed into the body and blood of Christ. No doubt you can see also on your screens uh, these beautiful flowers. Today, St. Peter's Square has been transformed into a beautiful flower garden. The flower arrangements are befitting as a backdrop to this special day of the resurrection of Christ. We have these flowers thanks to the generous contribution of florists in Netherlands. In all, there are 35,000 flowers and plants all shipped from Holland to the Vatican. This is something the Dutch florists have been doing for the last 39 years. The floral tribute by the Dutch florists began in 1985. continue with the families bringing the offerings that will be used at this mass before the Holy Father. You have also seen the Swiss Guard formations and also a battalion from the armed forces of, the Ita of Italy. These will present uh, arms, or rather they will be a guard of honor just before the Urbi et Orbi blessing at midday.
as the Cardinal is incensing this altar, our prayer also is that this incense will remind us that we, we too are God's holy people, His holy temple. We are images of Christ and we pray that we too will rise up, will rise up like the incense to God who is our Father. Orate fratres, ud meum. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of your name, for the good and the good of his holy church. Sacrificia Domine Pascalibus Gaudis Exultantes. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ who is our Lord. The Lord be with you. Gracias agamus Domino Deo Nostro. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all time to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to lord you for yet more graciously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with this Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even in the heavenly powers with the angels' hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy. As the choir sings the Sanctus, that is the Holy Holy, um, the Eucharistic prayer that will be used at this Mass is Eucharistic prayer number three, and you will find it in your Sunday Missal. It will be in Latin, but you can follow the same prayer from your Sunday Missal. The Eucharistic prayer is Cardinal Battista Ray at the altar. He is the Dean of the College of Cardinals. Et merito te laudat omnis a te condita creatura. Quia per filium tuum, Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Spiritus Sante operante virtute, vivificas et santificas universa, et populum tibi congregare non desinis, 
uta solis ortu usque ad occasum oblatio mundo offeratur nomini tuo. Supplice sergo te domine de precamur, ut ec munera quetivi sacranda de tulimus, e oden spiritus santificare dinieris, ut corpus et sanguis fiant, ili tui domini nostri Iesu Christi, cuius mandato ec misteria celebramus. Ipse enim in qua notte tradevatu, accepit panem, et tibi gratia sagens, benedixit, fregit, dedicque discipulis suis dicens. Accipit et manducate ex hoc omnes, hoc est enim corpus meum, quod provovis tradetur. Simili modo, posquam cenatum est, accipiens calicem et tibi gratia sages benedixit, dedicque discipulis suis dicens. Accipite et bibite ex eo omnes, ic est enim calis sanguinis mei, novi et eterni testamenti, qui provovis e promultis e fundetur in remissionem peccatorum. Hoc facite i meam commemorationem. Misterium Fidei Memore sigitur Domine, eius den fili tui salotifere passionis, nec non mirabili resurrezionis et ascensionis in celum, set et prestonantes alterum eius adventum, offerimus tibi gratias referentes, hoc sacrificium vivum et sanctum. Respice quesimus in oblazionem ecclesiae tue, et agnosem ostiam cui svoluisti in molazione placari, concede, ut qui corpore e sanguine fili tui reficimur, spiritus eius santo repleti, unum corpus et unus spiritus inveniamur in Cristo. Ipse nos tivi perficiat munus eternum, ut cum electis tuis ereditatem consequivaleamus, in primis, cum Beatissima Virgine Dei Genetrice Maria, cum Beato Iosef Eius Ponso, cum Beatis Apostolis Tuis et Gloriosis Martiribus, et Omnibus Sanctis Quorum Intercessione Perpetuo Apud Te Confidimus Adiuvari. E costia nostre reconciliazionis proficiat quesumus Domine, a te totius mundi pacem atque salutem. Ecclesiam tuam, peregrinantem in terra, in fide et caritate firmare dinieris, cum famulo tuo Papa Nostro Francisco, cum episcopali ordine et universo clero, et omni popolo acquisitionis tue. Votis uius familie, quantibi a stare voluisti, ad esto propitius, omnes figlios tuos, Ubiqua dispersos, tibi clemens pater miseratus coniunge. Fratres nostos defunctos, et omnes qui tibi placentes ex hoc seculo transierunt, in regnum tuum benignus admitte, ubi fore speramus, ut simul gloria tua perenniter saciemur, 
per Christum Dominum Nostrum, per quem mundo bona cuncta largivis. In per ipsum et cun ipso et in ipso, est ibideo patrio omnipotenti, in unitate spiritus sancti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Great Amen there, concluding the Eucharistic prayer. And now the celebrant, Cardinal Battista Ray, who is the dean of the College of Cardinal, invites us to pray the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, distress as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Domine Iesu Christe, quod existi apostolis tuis, pacem relinco ovis, pacem meam dovovis, ne respicias peccata nostra, sed fidem ecclesiae tue, e anque secundo voluntatem tuam pacificaret quadunare dignieris, cui vivis e regnas in secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And the deacon there inviting us to offer a sign, a gesture of peace uh, to whoever is with us, wherever you are. You can acknowledge that person or just people who are near you with a gesture of peace. We see the various priests now taking our positions and readiness for Holy Communion as the choir leads us in Agnus Dei, Lamb of God.
Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tollit peccata mundi. Beati qui a cena mani vocati sunt. Domine, non sunt dignus, dignus di sentare con me, se tanto mi verbo e se sarà anima mea. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So the Holy Father, the various ministers at the altar are now partaking of Holy Communion and Holy Communion is going to be distributed to the congregation here, the various crowds that are here in St. Peter's Square. In all we have about 30,000 people in St. Peter's Square and many more are still coming, some also in readiness for the Urbi et Orbi blessing that will take place at midday, 12 o'clock Rome time, or 12 hours if you like. The choir leading us in a communion antiphon, Christ is our Passover, the Lamb sacrifice. The Lamb sacrifice, therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia, alleluia.
So we know that wherever we are, probably watching or listening, we cannot uh, physically receive Holy Communion, but we can always pray that we receive spiritual Holy Communion. O oh Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I am unable to receive you, come at least spiritually into my heart and never let me be parted from you. In case you're just joining us, this is the live broadcast of the Easter Sunday Mass. We are slowly coming towards the end of the Eucharist. Uh, we are now the part of Holy Communion. But uh, remember that after this Eucharistic Mass, after this Eucharist, there is the Urbi et Orbi blessing at midday here in Rome from the Holy Father, Pope Francis. As we celebrate Easter, it is one of the most joyous days in the Christian calendar, the day that celebrates the most wonderful event in the history of humankind, Jesus Christ truly risen. For Christians, the resurrection of Jesus is the crowning truth of our faith in Christ. It is faith believed and lived as the central truth by the first Christians and also that we continue to this day and that we read about in the whole in Holy Scripture. The resurrection is actually part of the Christian faith handed on as fundamental by tradition and established by the documents of the New Testament. Oremos. <coughs> Perpetua de una ecclesia in tuam pio favore tuere. Look upon your church, 
O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mystery, they may come to the glory of the resurrection. And now the Holy Father will give us uh, the final blessing. Domino Pobiscum. Bow your head, bow your heads, and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity so that in the compassion defend you from every assault. And now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate with gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting spirit to the feasts that are celebrated. Et benedictio Dei Onipotentis, Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti, descenda super vos, et maniat semper. We have the final blessing from uh, the Holy Father, uh, Pope Francis. sing together the Easter season Marian anthem to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Regina Celli. So our Eucharist has just ended, a uh, beautiful celebration indeed here in St. Peter's Square uh, with over 30,000 people in the square and many more still coming uh, through. A uh, beautiful decoration there of the flowers thanks to florists from the Netherlands, 35,000 flowers and plants shipped in from Holland for this feast something they've been doing for the last 39 years and the floral tribute by the Dutch florist began in 1985 with the beatification of a Dutch Camelite Titus Brandsman, St. Titus Brandsman was beatified in November 1985 as a matter of faith and canonized as saint on 15th May 2022 by Pope Francis. The design and the arrangement of the flowers in the square was put together by those who work in the Vatican Gardens and the Environmental Service of the Directorate of Infrastructure of the Vatican City State. All of this was done under the direction of Daniela Canu, who worked in collaboration with the Dutch florists and actually a group of biotechnology and floristry professors from Slovenia. And their hard work is showing today. Among the many 
flowers i'm sure you notice that yellow and white seem to prevail no doubt representative of the colors of the vatican city state we could say also in a sense that these flowers represent for all of us new beginnings new hope and a new faith in the risen christ now the holy father pope francis are uh, greeting some of the cardinals who have been who have participated in this uh, eucharist 34 cardinals in all 18 bishops and archbishops over 300 priests and many others helping as candle bearers savers and ministers of the order 70 in all lovely uh, celebration that we have had here you did see formations of the swiss guards and battalion from the armed forces they will be performing just before the urbi at orbi blessing at midday the urbi at orbi blessing takes place from the balcony of the central loggia that is where the holy father will come out to present his Easter message. You notice that during today's uh, Mass, he did not um, he did not give his homily on Easter Sunday. Normally, the Easter message in the Orbi at Orbi takes the place of the homily during the Sunday Mass. I was just saying earlier how Easter is important uh, for, for Christians and this is something that we also read in the letter of Paul to the Romans who says, For if we have been united with him in death like him, we shall also certainly be united with him in a resurrection like him. We know that our old self has been crucified with him so that the sinful body might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. To sin. For he who has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. A beautiful liturgy Easter Sunday morning Mass of the day coming to an end. Christ is risen from the dead. He has conquered death. Normally on a day like this, the Holy Father will, would go on to his pop mobile. Yeah, there he is. And he is going to go around the crowds and greeting the crowds and the pilgrims who have come here uh, to celebrate Easter Sunday with him. So we see the Holy Father in his pop mobile and he is going to make the rounds. After he has done the rounds, he will go up uh, into the central loggia, that is the balcony facing the square the courtyard here to deliver the urbi et urbi a blessing and uh, the crowds are very happy to see the holy father come to them at close range to greet them and to wish them happy easter Very intense three days, starting from Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday here in St. Peter's. I'm sure you have seen and heard and have been edified by the various celebrations and solemn celebrations indeed that have taken place here in, in the Vatican.
Pope Francis continuing to make the rounds in St. Peter's Square, greeting the pilgrims, the crowds, some of them overflowing to the streets nearby. They are going to stay on and wait for the Urbi et Orbi blessing to the city and to the world. The Urbi et Orbi blessings, um, mostly two of them at Christmas and at Easter, but also there are times such as when a new pope is elected and uh, special days, very, very extraordinary days. We saw in 2020 when the Holy Father, during at the height of COVID-19, he came out to an empty St. Peter's Square to bless the world that was suffering so much at the time from the devastating disease of, that was COVID and ravaging the world. So for now, what will happen is that this broadcast will be interrupted just for a while, um, probably roughly 30 minutes, as we go to prepare for the Urbi et Obi blessing. Those following on television should continue to enjoy the Holy Father as he goes around uh, greeting the crowns. Um, some televisions which can still we will still be able to to see these pictures of the Holy Father as he is going around. But we shall be back we shall be back at midday, just before midday to prepare for the Holy Father as he presents the Easter message and the Orbi et Orbi uh, blessings. Once more, just a reminder that we will be back at midday with uh, the Urbi et Orbi blessing to the city, that is the city of Rome, and to the world, meaning all of us, wherever you are, will be able to receive these blessings. Very special thanks to our viewers, Mondo Vision viewers and Eurovision viewers who joined us for this broadcast and um, also our usual partners our official partners of EWTN Catholic TV Catholic Faith Network in America Catholic TV Salt and Light TV Uganda Catholic Television Shalom World Television Networks in the USA Shalom TV India and Sunday Shalom at Madashan TV, Cyrus XM Radio, New York, Luminous Radio, India, and Radio Mania, PNG. We will be back shortly for the Urbi at Orbi and for the Paul Samasumo.